Okay, we're going to make my mother's klatskis. Uh, this is uh, ravioli uh, from Lithuania. In this pan, I've uh, got some julienne bacon, chopped onion, and sliced mushrooms that I've been sautéing. I'm going to add some chopped ham to that. That's a ham steak. That's one whole ham steak. We're going to sauté it all together. It's going to exude a lot of liquid. And you want to make sure by the time we're done with this that most of that liquid is gone. Uh, there it is. We're going to add some Worcestershire sauce to that. Some Maggie sauce. My mother swore by the Maggie sauce. Okay, there it is. You can see all that liquid in there. It, when you scrape the pan, all that liquid is going to run from the other area. Okay, so what we want to do is boil that away. So we're going to keep cooking. And, and now you see very little liquid as you scrape the pan. So that's done. We turn off the pan. I've got some um, potatoes laying around. These are scallop potatoes. You could use mashed potatoes or a baked potato. Mix them into the mixture. We're, the flame is off, so we're actually, these are cold potatoes, so we're cooling it down a little bit. And then I'm going to add a couple of cups of cheese to this. The cheese and the mashed potato, they're going to bind this filling together. So we're going to once it cools a little bit, we're going to take this and add it to our food processor and pulse it so it becomes a, a, a fine filling for our ra uh, Lithuanian raviolis. Uh, make your pasta dough earlier and let it sit and rest and roll it out into these sheets. You do one sheet at a time because they'll dry out too much. I have two here and I, and I noticed that, so uh, just do one sheet at a time. Make sure your filling is nice and cold refrigerated when you're done with it and it won't run, the, the bacon fat and, and uh, won't run out and, and screw up sealing the ravioli. Okay, so I'm using a fork to crimp the edges so it's a, it's a nice looking ravioli. There we are. I put them on a sheet pan with some flour, freeze them and then when I'm all done I start cooking them and I just put them in boiling water you could use a, an insert here a whole insert you know and, and dump them out but I think that's a little rough handling so I I individually take them out with a slotted spoon so they don't break up if, if you dump them out they might break up so very carefully lift them out they don't take long to cook you know your filling is cooked so all you're really doing is cooking the pasta and it's fresh pasta so that doesn't take long at all I'd say they've been in the water for probably only two minutes so there's my whole batch this batch made about 40 ravioli and I had some left over that I, I shared with Adele have some caramelized onions you saute everything caramelized onions and butter top with sour cream boom you're done